Okay, I'm outside of Cubic, and this one's interesting. It's got some good potential. Um, for starters, all the houses around here are really well kept. They're bigger. Um, the lawns are really green. The landscaping is nice, and it's in this little cul-de-sac. So it's pretty quiet. Um, it's back in the back left corner of the cul-de-sac right here. And you can see it's got a three-car garage, a little brick facade on the front. Um, the roof is uh, just asphalt shingle. From what I can see here, it looks fine. It's not a brand new roof, um, but it looks like it's got some life left in it as well. Um, but the landscaping here is really pretty nice. Uh, could probably stand to have maybe a more permanent border along these beds and a little water and maybe some seed on this lawn and it would thicken up. But I mean, it's, it's certainly not in terrible shape. You can just see that they, they threw down <clears throat> some mulch here just to get it ready for sale. But it's got good bones here for sure. And it's, I mean, it's, in, oh, they even put some grass seed down. It just hasn't taken yet. So as we walk up to the door, you've got a, uh, a solid alder door, so a pretty nice thick door, and then a little patio here. It's about 16 by 5, or yeah, probably 16 by 5. Um, so walking into the house, just one thing I noticed throughout is uh, the carpet is clean, but it's it's worn a little bit. So, I mean, if, if I were buying this as a rental, I wouldn't replace the carpet right now, but um, it's probably going to need to be replaced in a few years. But I just want to give you a feel for the layout. So there's no bedrooms downstairs, but you walk in and to the right, you've got this living room. It's about 15 by 15 feet, little gas fireplace in the corner. Obviously, you've got your uh, stairs and a sliding glass door to the backyard there. Um, there is a little coat closet here right in front of my face, but I can get to the kitchen coming back through there. Or I can turn immediately to the left and go into the dining room and sneak into the kitchen that way. So we've got a formal dining room in here. You could set this up as an office or something too. It's got carpet in it. Um, it works just fine as a dining room. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm just not a fan of a dining room with carpet, but uh, anyhow, it's probably 10 by 12, something along those lines. There's a little, uh, like a little day bed built in front of that window there and then swinging around here to the kitchen. So good size kitchen. It's gosh, probably 15 by 12 feet, something like that. Um, it, it looks like maybe at some point someone added in this little breakfast bar, but a little more countertop space. Um, it, it's got uh, four mica countertops on it, and the rest of the kitchen has uh, granite. And granite's in good shape. Looks like some of these joints maybe could use like a little sealant, but um, looks pretty good. Cabinets are probably original, but they're in good physical shape. Uh, not the most modern, but they're not they're not awful by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and you can see they just use beadboard for a backsplash. So with renters, that may not last super long, but uh, anyhow. So if we head back through the kitchen here, you've got just a little pantry closet on the other side of the kitchen. There is a powder room here. And probably six by five feet and if i turn immediately to the left it takes me to the garage and the lighting in here is terrible but the camera is actually doing pretty well obviously you've got two two door bay um, there's a little ding in the garage door right there not a huge deal but um, and then you've got your single bay over there it's extra deep so there's tons of storage back here you could probably put two cars end to end in in these two bays actually. You could fit a lot of stuff in here, but there's tons of storage back there. You could build a workbench, or heck, you could even build a little office or something. Got HVAC over here. I already looked, I didn't see dates on here. That It, it could be an original setup. Um, let, me see, let me look at this water heater one more time. Uh, I don't see a manufacturing date or anything on there. They're not new. They're definitely not brand new. A uh, little door that goes up to the backyard, but I'm going to take you out to the back through the, the other way. But just so you see, there's a little door out here. What I'm seeing overall with this house is it's, it seems to be cared for, but it's been lived in. So this is probably a house that like a family lived in and they had kids. And so I don't see any obvious 
damage or destruction, but it, there's definitely been life here. So, I mean, like, if you look, like, somebody DIY'd these baseboards. They were never caulked in, and I saw that a little bit upstairs, too. And so, honestly, this house could probably use, like, a deep cleaning, at the very least some touch-up painting. But you'll see when we get upstairs, too, there's lots of space and, and some good potential. So, coming through the living room into the backyard... It's a little patio here. It's about 12 by 12 feet, but it's covered. Uh, there's a fan. Um, nice yard, pretty clean landscaping. And here's that door that we came out of the garage a minute ago. And you've got a big compressor out here. This looks pretty new. So this compressor, it can't be more than a couple years old. So the, the air conditioner is pretty new. Um, there's a, a little... I don't know what the, the purpose of this is out here. It looks like they've got irrigation set up. There's a manifold in there. Um, I mean, this would make sense to be like a little garden space, but there hasn't been a garden here for a little while. All right, heading back into the house. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, not that it's that big of a deal, but going back towards the kitchen here, there's a big storage closet under the stairs. It's about eight feet deep. And then heading up the stairs, just to show you again, like, there's just little chips in the paint, little spots that have been missed, that kind of stuff. So the, a lot of the detail, I think, was missed here, but it's all pretty simple stuff. All right, so when we get to the top of the stairs, there's not much of a landing. You're walking right into a hall. But if I turn immediately to the left, I'm in the master. If I turn to the right, the hall kind of weaves around. But there's a bonus room, more bedrooms, bathroom, another bedroom over here. So I'm going to swing all the way around and try not to make you too dizzy. Start with the master. So modest size master. It's probably 12 by 15, something like that. This is a queen size bed. It takes up a lot of the space. So big window overlooking the front of the house. And then if I step back here, uh, you've got your closet and then bathroom are over here. So closet, it kind of, it's kind of a funky Tetrisy shape. <laughs> so you kind of got to squeeze to get back in there to use that space, but there's some built-in shelving. And then behind the door, there's a little bit more storage space. And just again, you can see some DIY trim work. It wasn't ever quite finished out. It's just in the closet, but I've seen this in a few places around the house. So if I were buying this, I would probably have the handyman over and have him go around and just kind of clean up some of the trim and do some touch-up painting. And I, I mean, it might need more paint than that, but that's where I would start. Uh, bathroom. So you've got travertine floors in here. Uh, one piece fiberglass around for the tub. Toilet in the corner, obviously, over here. And then you've got a dual vanity. Same cabinetry as the kitchen. And four mica countertops, but they're clean, in good shape. Totally fine. And then there's a, a little linen closet just right in front of the toilet there as well. So there's your bathroom. Let me get the light. All right. So for the rest of the upstairs, um, just for your reference again, the stairs are right here. And I'm going to head into this bedroom. There's a couple bedrooms, not a lot to report, just a basic bedroom, 10 by 11 feet, probably. Um, some built-ins in the closet, but again, the, the trim needs attention and paint. So not to beat a dead horse. I just want to make sure that you see it. Uh, and that's throughout a lot of the house. Uh, bathroom right here. Um, rolled vinyl flooring. Pretty simple bathroom. It's about six by eight feet probably. And then directly across from the bathroom, there's a little laundry room and it's pretty tight too. It's probably six by six feet, just big enough for the laundry. And then there's a teeny little storage closet in there. Get the job done though. All right, another bathroom right across the, or sorry, bedroom right across the hall here. It's probably 10 by 12. Window overlooking the street, and then it's got a walk-in closet. So there's a window in the closet, and then it's cozy, but 
definitely enough for a kid or teenager or something like that. And then this is honestly the cool part. Um, so there's a huge bonus room over the garage. So if I come down the hall here, it, it almost looks like they might have built some of this on. But they've got it staged as a living room. But you could, I mean, this could be a huge playroom for the kids. Uh, you could turn this into another big master suite or another big bedroom very easily. Might be a pain to get plumbing over here. But a, this could be another big bedroom, no problem. Um, from the TV to this other wall here where the couch is, it's probably 12 or 14 feet and then these dormers that go out over the garage you can see they just they have these little long narrow areas back in here I'm not sure that's useful space but it's getting some natural light in here and then as i come through here there's another kind of bonus space here i mean this is easily as big as the other bedrooms there's just not a closet in here there's another dormer you can see they probably used it as a bedroom because they've got some built-in shelving but the main space of this room is probably 10 by 12. And then you've got this little nook right here. Uh, there's no door. Oh, there is. There's a pocket door in here. So, I mean, aside from there, not, oh, I can't get that door out, but you can see that there's a, a pocket door built in there. Um, I mean, aside from the fact that there's not a true closet in there, I mean, that, that's pretty easily another bedroom right there. And then this is a great space too. I think there's a lot of potential here with all the extra space. So anyhow, not a bad one at all with a, a little elbow grease.